efforts to revitalize the old YMCA building in Terre Haute now have new life. It comes after the Terre Haute City Council approved a tax abatement for the project. Demetrius Sanders is live in our newsroom. He was at tonight's Terre Haute City Council meeting. He joins us now with what this means for the future of the old Y. Demetrius. Mike Sadie, in June, the Terre Haute City Council voted against a 10-year tax abatement for a project that would transform the old YMCA into affordable apartments. This evening, the council showed support for the project, but is not in the clear quite yet. Since 2006, the old YMCA building located at 6th and Walnut Street has sat vacant. The buildings on the 10 most endangered um, historic buildings in the state of Indiana, um, it, which means it's you know very close to not being able to be saved. Wisconsin-based Commonwealth Companies, known for restoring historic buildings, has plans to turn the old Y building into affordable apartment units while keeping the building's historical significance. It's going to be more costly than if we were just to build a new 34 units, like the 34 units that are going in, but you end up with such a unique um, development at the end. It's you know important for our communities to preserve that history. In June, the project hit a roadblock after the Terre Haute City Council voted against a 10-year tax abatement for the property, which council members say was due to a lack of information. I think that had to do with some questions people had about the method that they had used um, to uh, come up with their numbers. They had some questions about that. Thursday, an eight-year tax abatement was approved, and Crossan says she believes now is the time to act to save a building that has meaning to many community members. I think if we're going to save this building, um, we need to not let it sit empty uh, much longer because it's just going to continue to deteriorate. So I'm excited that there's the possibility to have this investment in our community. The abatement for this project must be confirmed with a second vote by the Terre Haute City Council in October before it becomes official. In June, it was the second vote that caused the 10-year abatement to be denied. Mike. All right, thank you, Demetrius, for that report. McDonald says that if things go as planned, he hopes to break ground in November.